and share this morning. Or if you don't want to get up and come up here, we'll bring a microphone to you. We'll get it to you. Anybody want to share this morning? Lee's going to come and share. He's starting us. I'm just going to come with, um, I get us a prayer request for all of you to be just lifting a young man at the college up. Um, obviously can't give his name, but uh, had dealings with him this week, and I think he's a good kid. Um, I'm about 99% sure that uh, he's Mormon, and I was just dealing with him, and I think that if I've ever had somebody been able to, to describe to me that they are possessed, demon-possessed, I would say that would be him. Um, just feeling like he's being torn in two, being really tired, but then being forced awake. Um, just a lot of other things like that. And I took the opportunity to kind of reach out to him a little bit on uh, through text messaging just the, the next day just to let him know that, you know, there's somebody there for him. Been praying for him, and he's very grateful for that. Kind of engaged in conversation. But here's where the prayer request really comes in. When I started mentioning Christ, discontinued all conversation with me. Um, and so I just know that if you were filled with Christ and the Holy Spirit, that there's not room enough for those demons in him. And uh, just uh, just ask that you'd be lifting him up. And uh, lifting up opportunity for maybe me to re-engage and share with him. The spiritual battle is real. And we're talking about that a little bit in Sunday school. If you haven't been coming to Sunday school nine o'clock we're really we're beginning to look at how satan wants to get into our families and destroy our families so come to sunday school see what what satan's up to can't see him but he's active just likely you saw a little bit of a piece of that and what he's doing in torment have you heard of uh, this is kind of a new thing that i've heard people talk about night terrors night terrors you've heard of those I always called them you know nightmares but they're actually terrors and it reminded me a little bit more what Lee was talking about I don't know if that's it he knows it's a it's a battle mm -hmm. we want to be lifting him up yeah anybody else want to come and share testimony this morning Brenda's coming and Stephen and Skyler Uh, likewise, I had a, it wasn't really a, the same thing, but same idea, I guess. I had a young man, a really, really slow lunch at work the other day, and had a young man come in and ask for an application. And he grabbed a pen and he said, is it okay if I just sit down and fill it out here? And I said, absolutely, that'd be fine. And he filled it out and I made some pizzas and served some people and, um, and he just waited patiently until I was all done and brought the application. And he, he, I told him, I don't think we're looking right now, but things can change. I'm going to keep this and um, talk to my boss about it, you know. And and he said, oh, I do want to be up front with you about something. I am a parolee. Um, I just got out of the honor farm in Riverton. And from there I was, before there I was in Torrington. And... I just felt this overwhelming love for him because I have a son in the same place. And I said, well, you came to the right place. If not for a job, at least for some support. I said, I have a son in prison. And, um, you know, he kind of shared with me some of that experience. And, um, and he told me, don't worry about your son. He's covered in the blood of Jesus. I said, I was just about to tell you that, <laughs> that I'm not worried about my son because he's covered in the blood of Jesus, you know? So that really touched me that he said that. And we had a very nice conversation and I encouraged him to come to church and cause he is a believer and it was just a, a wonderful experience. And I, I know God puts, I'm always teary when I'm up here. What is that? That's got to be the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Puts people in our lives and in places right when we need, need them the most. 
And I was really grateful for that young man coming in. And I told him if he ever needed to talk, and I told him I, I probably am one of the few people that you've come across that you feel isn't. I hope you don't feel I'm judging you because I'm not, because I don't have any room to. And he said, so far you're the first. And it just breaks my heart for him. But I know that he'll be back. And I'm going to be there for him every chance I get and in every way I can be. And that's the love of the Lord. I just want to pass it on to everybody I know and don't know. I know oftentimes we don't like Lee couldn't give a name. Um, but is there a name, Brenda, that we can have? Or are you not able to give us a name either? With specific. She's going. We'll catch later. Um, the Lord knows. A specific name, Brenda, that we can have or not? Can you share a name? Can you share the name of the fella? Okay. Travis Miller. we can begin to pray specifically for him too and the one that Lee brought brought forward uh, other testimony anybody want to come and share when I look around do you all think I'm looking at you to say put pressure on you yeah, we don't want to pressure you all right, we're going to bring Brother Kurt up for our next, uh, the next hymn.